well in this tutorial what we are going to see how to create the UI right let's start with what do you mean by activity how you are going to define the activity see this if this is my phone if this is my phone right and I want to create something like this one text box and one button over here so here you are going to enter something called as name right and this is nothing but the ok so I'm going to create something like this I'm going to create something like this so I have one mobile and I have one button ok now everything will go inside the activity everything will go inside the activity what do you mean by activity that has explained very nicely elegantly over here see in the documentation itself you will find some some very proper lines about the activity if you can see this activity is a single focused thing that user can do activity is single focus thing that user can do that's very important that user can do almost all activities interact with the user if there is a user interaction there is the activity if there is a user interaction there is the activity so activity class takes care of creating a window for you of creating window for you in which you can place your UI with the call set content view activity class provides window for you right window for you in which you can place your user interface by the call set content view see here so consider that this is the activity and framework has provided this window for you and into this window this gray colored window for you you can see this window for you and into this window you are injecting the UI you are injecting the UI by the call set set content view is the method set content view is the method right you are going to inject the UI through the call something called as set content view right now this is your activity now you will see something called as on create over here right you are going to see something called as on create over here but don't worry about this this is a life cycle hook of the activity means whenever activity is going to get means whenever Android is going to create object of the activity that object would be called as activity only if framework is going to call main activity m dot on create internally internally right framework is going to call main activity internally right okay now this is related to the lifecycle hook we are going to see in detail about this thing in upcoming tutorials I am going to explain what is the lifecycle of Android in detail in upcoming tutorial right don't worry on this so what is this bundle now it is related to the state of the activity that also we are going to see in few upcoming videos forget about it presently so there is a one method whenever Android is going to create activity object at that time this method is going to get called remember this thing for now what do you mean by bundle what is on create what is we'll see later on for now remember this thing okay now I want to create right I want to create one button over here I want to create one button over here so as per the documentation right as per the documentation they said that you need to have some window and into that you are going to place your UI and on the activity you are going to call set content view method right you are going to call something called a set content view method but here one question is getting arose if you can see 
set content view is the method of the activity see set content view method and can you see what parameter is input to this what is the input parameter to this set content view it is nothing but can you see it is view object can you see this thing it is view object this parameter and meaning of this the desired content to display desired content to display but what is the view what is the significance of view why do you need view right that we'll see in the next tutorial right keep watching what do you mean by view I'm going to explain in detail in the next tutorial then we are going to create one activity which is holding what you can say one text box and the button okay we'll see in the next tutorial